everyone, am I the only one that is a foodie when it comes to my books? <laughs> so I actually have noticed that I tend to gravitate towards books that have something to do with food. Um, maybe the setting is a restaurant or the protagonist is a chef. Um, in particular, I'm thinking of one book I really, really enjoyed uh, listening to on Audible's not that long ago called The Lost Recipe for Happiness by Barbara O'Neill. If you know any other books similar to that, please let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, please subscribe, hit that bell icon. I'd really appreciate it. I'm trying to grow my channel. So yeah, that leads me to today's review, which is a book that was entitled, that is entitled uh, The Restaurant by Pamela M. Kelly. I listened to this book on Audibles and I ended up giving it three stars out of five over at Goodreads. So the overall rating for this book at Goodreads is 3.71 over on Amazon. The rating is more like about four, yeah, Amazon is four out of five and Audibles is 4.2 out of five stars. So from what I can tell, the restaurant is the first in a series of books though I could only find one other book but I guess if you have two books that's that's still considered a series so the second book is Christmas at the restaurant I believe Christmas yeah Christmas at the restaurant the setting is basically obviously a restaurant but it's in Nantucket and three sisters um, Emma Mandy and Jill um, end up unexpectedly inheriting a restaurant after their grandmother passes away. So this happens early on in the book. Um, it, it tells you that on the cover and everything, so it's not even a, a spoiler. And I won't give you any spoilers, but basically the three sisters have the opportunity to keep the restaurant if they agree to work together for a year at the restaurant. And they aren't necessarily estranged sisters. Um, they are uh, sort of, you know, Two of them have moved away from Nantucket. They grew up in Nantucket and two of them moved away and one of them still lived there. So, you know, life gets in the way and they've kind of uh, drifted apart. And as part of their grandmother's, you know, plot to get them together, she ties it around, you know, uh, working at the restaurant in order for them to eventually be able to inherit it. So like I said, I listened to it on Audibles. It was narrated by Leslie Howard. Uh, I thought she did a pretty decent job narrating it. The reason why I gave it three stars is it just, it, it's a good book, but it's not a great book. So my pros, it's easy to follow. I would, I would imagine if you actually sat down to read it versus listen to it, it would be a very easy read. The characters I felt were uh, relatable, believable, fairly solid for the most part. Um, and you know, it's, it's an easy read. It's a escapist kind of enjoyable read. There's also all kinds of wonderful food and beverages. <laughs> okay. Um, they do seem to drink off an awful lot of alcohol <laughs> and I am not one to judge, but, <laughs> but anyway, lots of Chardonnays is being <laughs> spilled around there. I do like to read novels that somehow connect to the food industry. It, I did like that part. I even was surprised. I was kind of surprised we didn't have any recipes <laughs> included. So, okay. That's the pros. Good book. Not great. My cons. My big beef with this book is really nothing compelling really happens. Um, everybody has issues. All the characters have some issues, you know, a couple divorces, um, you know, uh, you know, husbands not doing what they, the wives want them to do, boyfriends, questionable boyfriend activity, that kind of stuff. But there wasn't like a big problem that had to be fixed. There wasn't a lot of drama. Um, even the sisters, I don't know, I mean, I think, I think there was something missed here, an opportunity for maybe the sisters to fight about something or to have some sort of misunderstanding or some, something happened that maybe dig something up from their past that, you know, I don't know. It just, there wasn't enough of a dilemma, enough of a controversy. Uh, it just didn't feel like there was enough. Besides the fact there was no surprises, that sort of leads into the other issue is that it ends up being fairly predictable. Pretty much everything I thought was going to happen happened. Again, not a lot of um, not a lot of barriers put in the way. I mean, typically you want your characters to have lots of problems. <laughs> okay, that's what kind of makes a book interesting, and so I feel like that was sort of missing in this uh, in this novel. So that's my take on The Restaurant by Pamela M. Kelly. 
Uh, if you like foodie type books, you might enjoy this. If you want something just very, you know, easy read, probably could sit down and go through it very quickly if you just want something that isn't going to tax your brain a lot. Uh, maybe especially if you came off of a heavy read or something that was really difficult or highly emotional, some a book like this might actually appeal to you, but I do not see myself reading uh, the, the next one in this series. I, I'm, not, I'm not compelled to do so. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for stopping by to see what's on my bookshelf.